Welcome to the first edition of the Sitecore PowerShell Extensions video series. My name is Michael West. Adam Naimanovich is the creator of the Sitecore PowerShell Extensions module. Today we're going to cover downloading and installing the module and a few of the basic features. First we're going to go to the marketplace and do a search for PowerShell. And we're going to download the Sitecore PowerShell Extensions module. And the current version is 2.2. The next step is to log into Sitecore and select the installation wizard. Choose a necessary file. And then uh, here in the README, it discusses some of the current features or bug fixes. And all of this can be found on GitHub at the following URL. And after a few moments, the installation will complete. Now that the installation is complete, we'll hit finish and the application will restart. The next step is to go to the desktop, click start, or sitecore, sorry, XP days. And now you should see the PowerShell console link. And under development tools, you should see the PowerShell ISC link. Let's begin with the console. For those of you that are familiar with PowerShell, this should resemble much like the PowerShell console. Now that the console is open, we can run some basic commands. Now let's give the PowerShell ISC a try. As you can see in the little text field, we have uh, PowerShell commands that will be run. And when I do execute, you'll see the output in the panel below. And thank you for joining this edition of the Sitecore PowerShell Extensions demo. Please refer to the following URL, which I'll put in the description below. Uh, this will be the URL to the Sitecore Marketplace to download the Sitecore PowerShell Extensions module. And here's my blog and the blog for Cognified. And if you'd like to get in touch with Adam or myself, here's our Twitter handles. Thank you and have a great day.